Um, you must have noticed, ladies and gentlemen, that we are, we are all wearing black. Um, this has a particularly deep and significant reason for all of us, different, but significant nonetheless. My reason for wearing black is I'm in mourning for my tits. <laughs> um, this is Malcolm and this is Gordon. And uh, the boys are both on the long journey south. <laughs> Which uh, roughly means they're a lot less near my face than they were about ten years ago. <laughs> and I don't see anything to cheer about, honestly. And they ain't coming back. <laughs> My best friend at school was a girl named Kate. We went round a break together every single day. We were just as close as we could be until she took my boy away from me. Kay, why? Kay, why? Kay, why? Kay, why did you do it to me? Yes, hello. Yeah, yes, sir. Who is it? No, I think. Can you just wait for half an hour? I'll, I'll phone him back. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm in a meeting. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, the, the problem is that we can't really progress any further at all unless, unless I know what on earth they're going to look like. Well, we have reached some sort of compromise. I mean, the main difficulty is, is that um, their stage act is very glamorous, um, yeah. but we didn't want to be stuck just to the evening set for the single. We want something far more. Um, aggressive, young, mm -hmm. upmarket, if you like, mm -hmm. and also because they're so different physically. You know, they've got one giant on the end and yeah. a little sort of midget in the middle, and then Dilly with all their mm -hmm. curves in the centre. Yes. And uh, they have got some sort of trademarks. Um, Dilly's uh, cleavage is well known, and we would like to keep that as a feature of the set. I'm sure that's something we can use to sell. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I think something sort of more, much more aggressive um, yeah. is okay. needed to, to fit with it. You know, we've got to move on a bit and, and start, to, to start to talk seriously about what on earth we're going to do about selling them. James? We will be trying to influence what I would call the opinion makers. After all, we're in a yeah. fashion industry and there are people, whether it's selling clothes or selling mm. records, who are in a position to influence through their articles or their radio programmes yeah. to the public. And those people will want to see, I think, and should see a, should see a showcase of what the new mm. fascinating AIDA, not the new even, but what we are presenting as their recording uh, situation. Don't forget mm. television as well. We haven't talked about that. No. I mean, television mm. airplay is That's going to be very important. That's basically down, though, to getting them interviewed on air. That's right. In they're all the numerous chat rooms. Yes. They're very funny, very off the cuff. They're good at that sort right. of thing. Mm. Well, I don't know about right now, but obviously very soon, both you mm. and James are going to have to get mm. together, get some, mm. some dates worked mm. out and, how, mm. you know, putting a proper promotional yeah, campaign. Yeah, it's good, actually, because there's a lot of interest in them already, and they've done quite a bit of stuff yeah. before. So that's a question of taking that and gearing it to the record. Yes, but remember, the image they've that. had before has been a theatrical one. Well, that's right. And we've now got to go that's in there right. hard with that's a pop right. record. The one thing we can do is take comfort in the fact that whatever they do with the single, they can't take away from us the body of work that we've built up 
going on the road and our live stage show. Yeah. We haven't got any control over that at all, really, because they're nothing to do with it. So we've got that, and they can't take that away from us. Yeah, absolutely. And the other thing is that they are coming around to the idea that they may have been wrong with the choice of the single, which is very ironic. Yes. Well, then the thing is that they're spending all this money on us, all and I suppose money. that they f I feel that they've got a vested interest in. Obviously, in, in what we're they're doing. They're not spending an awful lot of They're them. extremely hamstrung by the fact that they, they've only got £15,000 to spend on the launch. That's peanuts when you consider that some companies spend 100000 on launching a single. I, I think probably their, their budget, I got a feeling, and I don't think I'm making up, is around 300 quid for the launch party to probably just pay the parking fines. That well, we'll just have to keep standing on, don't we? Yes. See what happens. Stamping on their toes. Mm and get the reputation of being difficult just because you stick to your guns. Yeah. That's the thing. You do it. That's the thing that really does upset me. Yes. Is always having to behave like a virago simply because people sit, will not see that you cannot do good work unless you are true to yourself. Mm. And if you, if you stick to your guns, you are seen as a, a hellcat or a virago or a difficult woman or whatever. And that breaks my heart. On the corner of the street stands a girl who waits for her lover. She's only 17, never been in love with another. Though it's half an hour late, she'll wait, for she loves him so she can't go. But all the time she's aware people stare, people stare. children are waiting she was serving in a shop couldn't stop anticipating but the children want to play and they say oh just let us be and she sees that their childhood has already gone He doesn't come, he's having fun, having fun. 